What is up, all of you Ugnots and Jawas out there? And welcome in to a new episode of Mando Talk. And it has been a hot minute, but I'm so pumped to be in front of a microphone talking about Star Wars yet again. And I'm not alone. Zach Horvath is back. It's been a long time, my friend, long overdue. But how's it going, man? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's been too long for sure. I. I am just so happy that we have some good action and Star Wars to talk about. Finally, let's Dude, get into it. You know we have I mean? like, a lot of mm. Star Wars to talk about, like surprisingly amount of Star Wars to talk about. The Bad Batch is going on right now. Zach, have you have you watched any of it? Have you at least heard about it? Reviews? Have, has it piqued your interest at all this season three? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. I definitely, I, I haven't been watching it. And it's because I'm going to binge it. Okay. And if that's, you know, I don't know if that's sacrilegious or not, but <laughs> that's just for, for Bad Batch, for me, if you know yeah. the history of Mandel Talk, you're going to know that it's very hit or miss. And so I'm just going to drink it all in at once. Sure. I have heard that it's really good. Yeah, no, I definitely, I'll just go ahead and say it. So I was going to share my thoughts on season three here to lead off the show because I'm caught up. I have been like, a week behind for the mo for most of the season, which is rare for me. So by the way, listeners, there's a peak of how busy my life's been because y'all know <laughs> how crazy I am about Star Wars. But I am really enjoying season three. Like it is by far the best season that we've gotten of the show. It's everything, Zach. I know you've seen all of season one, right? Because we covered Correct. it together. Okay. Correct. Everything that you always like the, the episodes that you always loved in season one, that's what every episode's been so far, in my opinion. That's what I like to hear right there. It's okay. all building, and then even the slower episodes are you can still feel them all building to that one big climactic moment that we're getting so close to. I think we only got three more weeks, mm. but yeah, season three is great so far, best season by far. But I do want to plug this so basically. Those of you that are listeners of Mando Talk, you've noticed psh, Mando Talk has failed in covering the Bad Batch for sure. Again, life's been super busy, but me and DJ Foster are actually going to link up and we're going to do a Bad Batch season three reviewed episode once the entire nice. thing comes out. So it is coming Just stand by uh, me and DJ have already spoke. We've already planned it out. We've already lined it up. So that's definitely coming. So if you've been enjoying the Bad Batch, if you've been watching it, uh, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, the notifications, all those different things, uh, because we're definitely going to be sharing some Bad Batch season three thoughts. Before we move away from the Bad Batch again, have you seen any of season two, Zach, or did you skip that too? Uh, yeah, I skipped that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, but I told you though, so, I, I really feel like season three. Now me as a Star Wars fan, I would say watch every Star Wars you can. Yeah. But I really think season three, you don't necessarily have to go into it with everything. I would say maybe the last arc of season two. I, I know the spoilers though. So right. like, okay. I, yeah. I know how things shake out. Sure. And so for a specific, uh, bad batch member, you mean? Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. 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 No spoilers here, but I know the details of that. Um, yeah, it was impossible to not get on X. Sure. Okay, Twitter, uh, to, <laughs> to see all that. But yeah, I, I for sure. I'm going to check out season three. Okay. Um, like I said, it's been almost resounding. Like everything I see about it has been, this is the best season. Mm -hmm. It's a little darker. There's yeah. more, way more interesting like plot points and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm in S some canonical shifting storytelling, like things oh. that really like, like that not, big a deal, huh? not like super shocking, but, but similarly to how you've heard me say the clone war served the prequel trilogy. Yeah. 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 The bad batch is serving the, massive let me be honest massive plot holes of the sequels oh, okay, <laughs> let's be <okay>. real <laughs> let's right. be real so definitely Sweet. definitely something to check out um and again be looking out mando talk listeners season three reviewed episode with djs coming soon i also want to go ahead and say that is going to be followed by me and dj also line this up we're going to also do a tales of the empire reviewed episode because i believe tales of the empire drops like a week or three days after the Bad Batch season three wraps. So we're just mm. going to record both of them together and release them uh, pretty soon as well. So that's coming. But speaking of Tales of the Empire, what me and Zach are going to do is we're going to run through these recent 
trailers that we've gotten. We've got Tales of the Empire trailer that we're going to discuss. We've got the Acolyte trailer that we're going to discuss. And we've got Star Wars Outlaws trailer that we're going to discuss. So a lot of great, like this is rare that you get three new stories and three trailers to all talk about in one episode. And then we'll finish the show by uh, giving an update regarding the Mandalorian and Grogu's release date. And we'll discuss maybe what that means if Star Wars ever finally makes it back to the movie theater. So, Tails, <laughs> you like that dig? <laughs> no, I like it. You ain't golly, wrong. I mean. Golly, We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Tales of the Empire, man. I'll just go ahead and say, um, I had heard whispers that this show was coming. Not I didn't hear like it was called Tales of the Empire, but I was thinking, you know, they were going to play in on Tales of the Jedi. I was thinking they were going to go Tales of the Sith, but it's very like Sithy in nature, just being called Tales of the Tales of the Empire. I was shocked by the trailer, though. I did not know it was coming that soon because I figured we would get a show announcement before we got a trailer. And this trailer did not disappoint. I think I, I went to Twitter initially and said, like, this is top tier Star Wars content that we're getting here out of this trailer. So initial reaction from me, sign me up. Zach, what did you think of uh, Tales of the Empire? Yeah, so it hit me similarly. I actually didn't hear any whispers. I knew nothing about this. I was, I, I don't know what I was doing. I think I maybe was like drinking my coffee or something. Sure. And I'm on Twitter and I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. Tell, Cause I, I knew of the tales of the Jedi and I mm -hmm. thought I maybe just misread it. And I was yeah. like, Oh, tales of the info. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I watched it blown away. I was blown away by yeah, that. I great. think it was also because of like, I didn't know about it, but sure. But just in general, like the visuals and the themes and the, the, um, the mood of the trailer, I was like, Oh, if you know me, <laughs> I'm all in on this. Like I've always, I've literally asked for this where I'm like, I want yeah, stories <laughs> on the darkness. I want stories on the bad people because it doesn't mean they're all bad. Like there's going to be, you know, kind of scheming Game of Thrones -y type stuff mm -hmm. where the the bad guy, good bad guys have uh, motives they believe in or however, you know, that kind of saying goes. But yeah, no, this this hit me great. I am actually really excited for it. I have not watched Tales of the Jedi. I thought you did. For some I reason, I thought you did. I have not seen that, Ooh, and so man, I just the animations I just don't keep up on. I can't lie to you. I, I just it's, my it's wife doesn't lot. watch it's them, a lot. and it's like I I just don't keep up. Um, but yeah, I've heard again nothing but good things about Tales of the Jedi. Hmm. Right? It's it's pretty it's Dude, really good. Right? Really good. Specifically yeah, so, the uh, Count Dooku arc. Yeah. So um, you need to get in on that. I was going to say, I, I'm excited to watch that. This will give me an excuse to watch that and then watch Tales of the Empire. Because, yeah. And and people were kind of going crazy about a character that was in that. that maybe you guys hadn't seen in a long, long time. Barriss Offee. Yep. Um, okay. The Fallen the Jedi. Down. The Fallen Jedi in the Clone Wars. She basically turns bad. She's in prison, but we never really saw her again. So it's always been questioned, did she survive Order 66? Is she fully bad? Like, what's going on? Well, now that we know she's in Tales of the Empire, that would indicate she might be pretty bad at this point. Uh, we might have some, uh, I don't know, Inquisitor action going on with her. Well, yeah, uh, she's with Vader and all them, right? Right, and I was... that Okay, so that was one of the things I want to talk about with the trailer. I don't know if it's just me hoping this, but did you ever play the Force Unleashed games? Uh, no, again, I know of. Them. Okay, well, Galen Merrick, was... the guy was Darth Vader's secret apprentice. I wonder if they're going with that angle. Like, that would be certainly something. And in animation, I think that's the perfect medium to explore mm -hmm. that type of idea. What do you think of, of that potential? I'm in. Give it to me. I, I would love to see more. Um, I think my, my thought there is the Obi-Wan show mm -hmm. proved to me that I can never have enough Vader. Like oh, I want, yeah. I want to know when he's at the peak evilness. Mm -hmm. That's when I want Vader. Like we've seen the redemption. We've seen the, Oh, you're, I'm your father thing. Right. We need Vader. Like we saw walking through that village, snapping necks and going crazy. Yeah. And, um, 
I think I agree with you 100% on the animation side where if he's going to do something like that, maybe if it's even if it's not like Secret Apprentice type thing, but sure. If I want to see him being the head of the Inquisitors and doing his thing, mm-hmm. animation is going to be a great medium for that. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, I've always been for a Vader solo show. Like they gave Kenobi one. I, why not go ahead and give uh, Darth I, I, Vader one I, of those as I well? I agree, man. I can't believe that hasn't happened. I, I really we'll don't see. know why. Well, and I do think they're making a shift now to maybe not focus so much on those main characters that we've spent the majority of our time uh, throughout. But yet, but yet here they are in every single thing. <laughs> sure. And, but, <laughs> and every time that, that we see them, we get pumped. Um, speaking of the Barris Offy Inquisitor storyline, because we got multiple storylines going on in this trailer, similarly to how they handled Tales of the Jedi. We see the Inquisitor uh, and w- Merrick from Ahsoka. Oh, yeah, yeah, Merrick yeah. yeah. Is that him confirmed? It, I think so. It, I mean, it, looks it looks just like him. Looks just like him. And of course, in Ahsoka, it's revealed, spoiler alert, it's revealed that Merrick was Night Sister magic, basically, because he turns into like green smoke. And maybe, maybe somehow the Barris Offy storyline is going to connect into the Morgan Elsbeth storyline in yeah. Tales of the Empire. I was going to say, I think he dies and she brings him back. And that's when we see mm, him. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think he's juju magic the whole time. Sure. Yeah. I, I hope he's not. I hope somehow, like, yeah, he gets destroyed or killed or something along the lines where Morgan Elizabeth or one of the nice sisters has to bring. And I literally back. just made that up as I said it. No, so, I mean it makes sense. Um, it checks out. It checks out. Well, what do like, you think I'm just of? Thinking uh, about it, and I'm like, what else could it be? I don't think he's sure. I don't think he's dark night sister magic. Well, you smoke or whatever he was. The only thing like, that's getting me is like the the tales of the Jedi. They had I want to say it was two storylines. Because I think it was three episodes on Ahsoka and three episodes on Count Dooku, but they never like connect. So it's not necessarily required that all of this is telling one story. Mm-hmm. It could just be, you know, you've got your Barris Offie three episodes, you've got your three episodes with Morgan Elspeth. Which, speaking of the Morgan Elspeth plotline, huh, young Admiral Thrawn, baby, sign uh, me up, sign me up. Yeah, yeah, like. I was going to say, I was surprised to see her front and center here. Um, of all the cast of characters, yeah. I was not expecting her to be up there, but I love it. Give cool. Tie it all together. Give me more information on the Dathomir and the yeah. um, and the Night Sisters and Thrawn. And it and- seems like, is, is it just me or does it look like Thrawn is already on Peridia in some of these shots? Or maybe not, mm. because it looks like the opening scene is on some foresty planet. So yeah, maybe I, not. Say, I think it may, maybe he just was like floating in the ship. This is so that's it, interesting then because it's making me think of you know of course we've talked about with rebels he jets off with Ezra. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're actually on that planet from the Mandalorian season two, where a oh, where we up. find her. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense because she's got her stick, her her stick. I was gonna say staff and stick the, all uh, at once, but it came out staff. Thingy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I th- she's in she has that in the trailer right yes so, she does um, she does I and she's got I, the red that would make sense the that, red witchy stuff yeah no okay I was the, wrong like I was the, wrong. the the what are those things called I don't know what they are the thing from Puss in Boots that the <laughs> death has I don't know what that's called <laughs> oh the little the, you're talking about like the little blades the yeah they're the, like sickle the half circle scythe, scythes yeah I don't yeah. know what they are I'm but hers are all moment. on fire and she's fighting uh what's yeah, his she's face? sick uh, uh dooku i mean not dooku no, grievous not, grievous grievous yeah I was and, thinking and, dooku, and dooku. speaking of that what's going on with that general grievous is dead right like what's going on there i don't know the <laughs> timelines i'm so i'm so confused well, i don't know nothing but tales of the empire tells me it's definitely after episode three so maybe somehow night sister magic we've got another general grievous well, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. I was gonna say maybe it doesn't mean that it's after three. Or maybe it could, a flashback could be in two. It could, yeah, um, it could be a, it could be a previously in Star Wars. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> but man, I'm I'm loving the way the animation looks. As always, they crush the animation look. It, did it seem like extra high res th- in this it, trailer? It, like compared to like bad batch and stuff because as we're talking like i'm watching it back you know just to kind of see see what is in there to talk about it looks 
fantastic <laughs> like thrawn's face and like his body and her yeah. spinning around i thought it looked amazing it really mm -hmm. does star wars animation if you Next say level. bad Next things level. you're crazy yeah that is the one through line in star wars that has been popping mm -hmm. for years maybe oh, yeah. even decades at this point they I don't even know They've always crushed animation, and it's quite amazing. Really, the only thing, in my opinion, that competes with it is Spider Verse. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, but, I think it's but one the of consistency, the consistency. Like, the I was consistency say, like, from Star Wars is just insane. Yeah, and and also I think because Star Wars lends itself to animation, we've just talked about it, but it like, really does. Just the the flipping and the force and and lightsabers and all the things that make it cool. Yeah, look cooler in animation I, I, I don't know what else to say like if you watch rebels and shout out mando talk here for making me watch rebels because hey. it's one of the best star wars pieces <laughs> of content let's ever go created especially that essentials list baby oh 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 the essentials list we know that's all you watched 100 <laughs> percent. i'm laying in bed binging it on my ipad crying my eyes out because it's just so good it's so good yeah it's good. um but it's good. I, I digress on Rebels. <laughs> Let's come back. Um, well, so, now you've got new homework. Anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the uh, El is it Elizabeth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Morgan Elspeth. Elspeth. <laughs> I always want to call her Elizabeth. Um, Elspeth. Morgan Elizabeth sounds yeah, like an that's... insurance company or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so Elspeth thought thought it looks cool. She doesn't. I got to be completely honest. She doesn't she move doesn't, the needle for you. Doesn't pique the interest for hmm, me. Interesting. Um, I think she's okay, but she's yeah. almost like a no namer to me. <laughs> like I just, okay. so I've been thinking about Ahsoka a lot recently. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It kind of bothers me there at the end that she stands toe to toe with Ahsoka. I don't know if she's really there. I don't I, think I, she I did though. She, you don't think she did? Because I, I feel like it was a good little little Duke sesh they had. I mean, I think it was good, but I, I yeah. didn't get the vibes that they were on par. I okay. got the vibes okay. that maybe she caught Ahsoka off guard, or or maybe I'm yeah. just giving Ahsoka more vibes than I should. But... Or maybe Ahsoka was just like, this is fun. Let me keep doing this. <laughs> I, see, I, you know, in the whole magic thing, it's like, okay, what did uh -huh. she have before that? Did the right, magic right, make right. her better? I don't know, but... um. Yeah, now that now that I think about it, I could see where you're coming from. Yeah. I always took it as like Ahsoka had to like kind of crank it up a little bit, but she never was sure. like her versus Darth Maul or anything. Okay, you know? that's fair. That's fair. I am interested though. I think this show is going to better serve Morgan Elspeth. I think it's going to put more respect on her name and just the idea of us getting why her and Thrawn are so closely connected and why she's literally doing everything that that dude asks in the Ahsoka show, I hope. And I would imagine that this tales of the empire story they got going on for her is going to explain that. And I think um, that, I think it really needs that. Honestly, I'm a hundred percent with you. I, I agree that I think it's going to do a lot for her character and that's me without seeing it, but just yeah. assuming based on what I've seen, I think it's going to, thicken her plot but also maybe tie up the loose ends of like how did she get to thrawn and like you sure said, why why does she treat him like a king i don't know yeah why but. yeah because again in season two of the mandalorian when she first sees ahsoka like ahsoka knows to track her down to find thrawn which is very yep. interesting so there's there's got to be more more details somewhere in there and i'm sure they're going to explore it but tales of the empire looks very very well done i'm very excited for it it's coming very soon may the may 4th. fourth may the fourth and again i think bad batch wraps just a few days before that and even on that same weekend the phantom menace is re-releasing in theaters on may 3rd may 4th like insane insane amount of star wars in just that four day five day window and i highly doubt i'm going to be able to make it to the movie theater if i'm being honest to see phantom menace again but man i would love to I just don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off. Is that something that like the re-release of movies? Is that something that ever gets you going? Not necessarily Star mm. Wars, but but maybe focused on Star Wars, obviously, because Romando talk. But just in general, is that something that's um, like, oh, that's a must thing to do? It's so funny you say this because traditionally, no. Traditionally, I, you know, I love the idea of it. 
I would love to go back and see movies like um, I saw they showed Back to the Future in the theater. I uh-huh. would love to go see movies like that. Yeah. But it doesn't make me go pay $20 a ticket to go see it. You sure. Know what I mean, sure. However, uh-huh. they just announced they are re releasing Interstellar. I, I thought you were going to go there. Millimeter, millimeter, yeah. <laughs> IMAX. Yeah. I will be there. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see Interstellar in IMAX. And just drink it in because sure. it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I yeah. never got to see it in IMAX. I think so. Interstellar's top five all time for me. It's in there. It's yeah, one of it's, my favorites for sure. It's phenomenal. And I can't imagine. I never even saw. I don't think I saw it in the movies. I think the first time I was sitting in my Same. apartment. And so I can't yeah. imagine watching no, I that was, movie. I was a college kid when I watched it. Mm-hmm. At, the, at the place we were living in college. So I wasn't, you know, at the point where I was like critical of film or anything, but I just remember being absolutely blown away by that movie. Insane. Mm-hmm. But I remember, you know, speaking of, you know, I got to bring this up. Dune 2. You, you may have heard of it. You may have heard of it. Ah, Dune 2. <laughs> Anytime that movie's in theater, you know, I'll be there. I don't care if it's 70 years from now and I'm dead. I'm rising out of the grave <laughs> to watch I'm that here. thing. <laughs> but no, yeah, dude, speaking I, uh, of that. Mm, um, Dune 2. Good. Where was I? I was Good. going somewhere with that and connecting it to Star Wars, but I just got lost that in a Star Wars is Dune. Is that what you were going to say? Well, you know, it's been inspired. Oh. It's been inspired. Yeah, yeah inspired. <laughs> oh man, don't what get, a great don't movie! Don't get it started. As they're both great. Don't, uh, yeah, they are. Don't. Yeah, they are. I, I'm not one of those Come that pits on. them together for sure. I just yeah. appreciate them both. They're anyway, both wonderful. Anyway, they, I was they, I was just curious. Ship us off to another land, uh-huh. and I think. Star Wars is tricky uh, sure. because it's so beloved. It's one of those like things. I was actually talking to a colleague about this the other day okay. about like Dune. Yeah. Where Dune, I never, I knew of Dune, but I didn't know anything about Dune. Sure. Okay. And so I go to the IMAX and I am blown away. Yeah. It's all new to me and it's beautiful and so well done. Mm-hmm. Star Wars was way before I was born. Right. And you almost like come out the womb knowing Darth Vader. Yes, and, and Luke. And even like, if you haven't seen Star Wars, you know, hundred percent. Like you walk down the street. If I lifted a picture of Darth Vader, I would say ninety percent or more know who I am talking about. Which is a great I, sign, by the way. <laughs> it, well, I, I'm, that's leading me to my point. Okay, if I okay. lift up Paul Atreides, they may say, <laughs> you know, oh yeah, Dune now. Yeah, but it ain't going to be ninety percent. I'll tell you. Yeah, that. yeah. And the fact that that's still the case gives Star Wars so much credence. Like it really does. They, yeah, they have. Yeah, okay, we miss some. Yeah, it's not great, but because it's so beloved and so just amazing, sure, our standards have risen and risen and risen. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's like I just get so worked up when anything Star Wars drops because it's always blah 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 for people sure. for no reason. Yeah. Like dissecting that. it and over overly critical yes. and yes, yes, yes. I just yes, think yes. that the audiences are completely different. If I'm being honest, uh, oh, for Dune, Star Wars, or yeah, just Star Wars, yeah, in general? no, 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 for Dune and Star Wars. I think Star oh, Wars is your your family watch that you know makes you feel good. Mm-hmm. I don't think Dune is intended to make you feel good at all. No, that's no, a no. heavy watch. Dune, as I was far gonna as say, Dune goes. is like a political commentary is what yeah. it is. It's it's a heavy now like you're you're 100 right like the kids ain't gonna sit down and watch dune with me no. but if i put on empire strikes back or even just a new hope like yeah the kids are gonna watch it because it's yeah. cool it's got lightsabers it's got chewy we're good um, for sure like, now that doesn't no that doesn't necessarily mean i would great i would greatly appreciate a star wars story in that tone though Let's be oh, real. I'm ready for oh it. My I, gosh. Hope, <laughs> I hope we get something like that. I want rated yeah. R Star Wars. I've said it. I've screamed it from the mountaintops. Sure. But the all father George has said that this is for kids. Right. So I don't know how deep we're going to go into that. Well, sure. And now that Dave Filoni is the guy who's very respectful and honorable of George's foundational right. principles. I don't think anytime soon we're going to be seeing something like that. But anyway, anyway. Speaking of maybe going a little darker, the acolyte, boom, the acolyte, perfect segue. Perfect segue. I don't know how we got on Dune and everything. It was talking about we were talking about the re-release. 
Yeah, yeah, release of Phantom, and then the, but you we know were we're always going to show up for Dune. We connected it. <laughs> <laughs> we we connected it. We yeah, I love it. Back. Yeah, so love ac- it. the Acolyte trailer dropped what like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Again, busy. I haven't been able to do a podcast on it, so here we are. We're doing a podcast on it together. Um, overall thoughts on the trailer before again we get into the details, kind of like how we did with uh, Tales of the Empire. Overall, blown. I'm I'm blown. excited. You're blown yeah. away. Jinx. No, okay. I'm blown oh, away. No I was. It was. It Take was. The floor. Take the floor. Well, acolyte. As as the historians of Mando talk now, I've been l- w- just chomping at the bit. This has been acolyte. your show for a while. Ever <laughs> since they announced it, I was like, finally, yes, here yeah. we go, baby. Here we go. We're getting some dark stories. Give me their side. I want to mm-hmm. see people doing bad things. Okay. I know that sounds so weird, but it's just like, man, I feel like Sithy um, over here. <laughs> well, well, and or prove that point. Sure. Like, yeah. That was as gritty as it's ever gotten in Star Wars and everyone loved it uh, mm-hmm. and because it's amazing. Uh, but also the writing and everything. But the Acolyte, the trailer was great. Okay. What I saw, in my opinion, yeah. I didn't know uh, the Matrix lady was even in the show. Me either. So no shot. seeing her, I'm locked in immediately. Mm-hmm. Then they a uh, martial arts and stuff. Yeah, the choreography. the choreography. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You got uh, the dude from Squid Game. Uh, Squid Game. He looks in great. There. I was thinking Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, Squid <laughs> Game. He's in there. We get to see him being the Jedi Master, but then they, you know, she does like the crazy flip onto him and he just like blocks her like it's nothing. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like that Shang-Chi kind of dance fighting that they're doing. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Love it. Give it to me. Because that makes sense to me in my mind. Like if I'm a force user, th- I'm not going to be getting into like the 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 prequels flipping dancing jumping around stuff sure but i am going to be doing what they're doing in my mind if i could do jumps and flips and use the force then why would you not be doing those things so what right. do you what did, what did you think overall i was very excited for the show after seeing the the trailer i think the the potential for a great story is there i the only thing that i'm hesitant on is i've always been big on i really want an old republic story Mm. The only, I, for me at least so far, the only negative I have seen this trailer is I don't feel like it's a like it's as massive of a disconnect as they think it is from what we've gotten. If that makes sense, like yes, it's a hundred years before the the Phantom Menace, but I still and you're gonna have familiar elements for sure. But I still feel like we could even go more into oh, this is way back. This is totally new, totally different. And I guess that itch that I've always had hasn't been scratched yet. And I can already tell by seeing the trailer that I don't think that itch necessarily is going to be scratched. But I guess that's not me being critical of the show. That's just an observation I have after seeing the trailer is I think we could go even more into the old timey Jedi stuff. Mm -hmm. But I see where they're going. I see where they're going. It's exciting for sure. I like the look of it. You can tell in some of these, you know, again, I'm watching it side by side here. You can tell in some of these shots that they're trying to not use the volume. Isn't it crazy how initially the volume was like this all glorious, positive thing? Yeah. And man, people have turned against that thing so hard. <laughs> well, I, and and like it was it was revolutionary. Yeah, it, it was like, oh, my yeah. gosh, the the I still am a huge um, proponent of the flight scenes using the volume. Sure. I think those look amazing. The ones yeah, that do. are like attached to the ship on the outside or looking out through the window. Mm-hmm. I think those volume shots are super, super clean, but uh, yeah, no, the acolyte doesn't look like a lot of volume stuff and you can feel it. You can yeah. just feel it. I don't know how else to explain it. When you're watching it, you, your brain knows that, okay, this is a real place. Sure. And it just feels better. But yeah. uh, I, to your old Republic talk, isn't that what that other movie is going to be? Well, and, and again, I would feel better if I knew the movie was actually going to exist. <laughs> sure. That's fair. I, I, my like, take I'm taking on that is Star like, Wars stories as this might be the only time I ever get something in this time period with how, how much this franchise cranks stuff out. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think a hundred years is long at all. I I'm actually on the reverse side of what you're saying. I, I okay. don't know if. I, I, to me, that's like 
a baby step. No, before. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I wish it was oh, even further. Oh, oh, oh I wish oh, it was gotcha, further gotcha, disconnected. Gotcha. I was in my mind. I'm like, in this whole galaxy, I don't think yeah. that's a long time. But no, I see that's what, what I'm saying. I, I wish it was even longer. I see. Like, I'm I agreeing can, with you still, accidentally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can still feel like, oh, this is going to tie in straight into the Phantom Menace. So you might as yeah. well call this, you know, the prequel to the prequels. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That because of the timing and everything, it seems clear to me that it's going to be, you know, um, what's his face? Yeah, Palpatine, but his squad. Like he's got to be involved in this, right? He's well, got to show up. Pal, I don't know if Palpatine's around quite yet, but his master. Oh yeah, that's his who I meant. That's who Plagueis. I meant. I was thinking Plagueis, not you think. I, I okay, so yeah, Palpatine. That was going to be but, the next thing I wanted to get into. You think the person with the little hand, red lightsaber there at the end? You think that's Plagueis, Revan? Because there's been rumors of Keanu Reeves as Revan. Do you think it's even Plagueis's master, which he's got a name, but I, I'm blanking on it at the moment. Or do you I'm think thinking, it's a brand new character? Hmm, that's a great question. My gut reaction is it's new. Okay. That's, but, that tends to be the way they go. But yeah, she I believe the showrunner has said multiple times that she's looked at the legends, your legends and expanded EU, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I, yeah. I would give it more of a chance than any show we've had or any oh, content or anything like 100%. that, that it's going to be someone of knowledge from legends. Sure. But it's still only like a 15% chance. To yeah. With it being 100 years, I think the easy and safe pick would be Plagueis. Because that's an easy way to connect them. But and man, I, I'm, I'm really hoping that we get a Keanu Reeves' Darth Revan. Oh, that would be I mean, so cool. I mean, Keanu but as Reeves. far as... And then you got the Matrix chick as the... As yeah, there you Carrie go. Ann Moss is her name, I believe. Right, right. Yes, that's right. That sounds She's not right. Matrix chick. She is Carrie Ann Moss. She's <laughs> legit. Um, yeah. But... She, uh, yeah, no, I, I would love to see those two together and be, I'm happy she's in this. You can tell she just still has it. You know yeah. I mean? She's got it. Uh, she's got it for I, sure. I just overall, I need to rewatch the trailer actually. Yeah. I, I watched it when it came out and i watched it a couple times, but we got a Wookie yeah, no, Jedi. Wookie Jedi. He's got like a dope. weird kind of hair piece going on. Sure. Um, that kind of makes sense with the uh, images that we've seen of like high Republic Wookie Jedi before. Yep, I I am loving it, dude. What I do you think really the story is going to be? Because I, obviously I think the early indications are is Amanda Stenberg. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, I think her character at the beginning of the trailer is a youngling, but she mm -hmm. somehow, you know, she sees fire in the trailer. She says something oh, like yeah. that. And then, she, then we see her character, like maybe a teenager character um running through fire and then now suddenly causing chaos and in fighting these jedi mm -hmm. so do we think that's essentially the story of of um oh squid game dude mm -hmm. I'm, I'm blanking on his name i think it's like soul or something like that just you looking know, at the I thought it was subtitles like Hong so or something like that maybe Oh, you're talking about like the character's name? Yes, the character. The oh, character. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I, don't I think maybe he's just trying to, you know, reconnect with her, bring her back, maybe even destroy her. I don't know. Where do you think the story's going? Basically, is what I'm trying to ask. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm so Fair. excited because I just because I don't know. It's like what I saw was like a perfect tease, and I think that's all that trailer was, was like a teaser trailer. Well, right? it says official trailer. Okay, so official trailer one. It's a little story lackluster there, <laughs> yeah. but it did what it needed me to do uh, or, or what it needed to do, which was for you, raise yes. my uh, <laughs> hype level. And, sure. and I think that they are going to dip their toes into the Sith stuff. I'm, I'm all in on showing the Jedi covering this story. up. Okay. That was Sith my next question. There. Because the, that's I, been a think, heavy debate. Like I think that's the story. Because uh, in in what a Phantom Menace, Kiati Mundi says, "Oh, the Sith have been extinct for a thousand years or something like yeah, that." Hundreds of years. Well, well here we are, a hundred years before Kiati. Like, what's going on, dude? <laughs> yeah, no, I I think that's going to be part of the story. Is like, uh, you know, almost like the boy cried wolf. The Sith, like are the back, Jedi, the Sith are back, and like the Jedi, Jedi like, covering them up. No, like no, they ain't back. We're okay. we're the Jedi. We've been sure. doing this. There ain't sure. no Sith. Like their ego kind of, their ego gets in the way. 
Yeah, basically. I think it's going to set the seeds. And people are, might get mad at this, but I think it's going to set the seeds for Phantom Menace. Like, how you know how does Palpatine know how to pull the strings and get in there? Well, sure. Maybe whoever that red um, lightsaber user is, whether whoever it is, yeah. Maybe he isn't Sith. Maybe he's just a bad guy. Because mm. uh, that is different, right? There is a difference. Sure. So hundred percent, uh, yeah. Because Kylo Ren I, was never Sith. But 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 based on the history and it being called the Acolyte and every kind of theme around it, the freaking sure. poster. Oh, we haven't even talked about the poster. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what are you Jeff's talking about? The pissed. you talking about the lightsaber with like the bleeding oh, to it? The yeah, with the blood Ooh. because yeah. they bleed the the. The crystal, yeah. Crystals. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. I was when it's I great saw detail. that, I was locked in. I was like, oh yes, give it yeah. to me. Um, I, I'm just a weirdo, I think. I don't know. But I, <laughs> no, I thought that alone. was like that was so unique of Star Wars. Like sure, yeah. That is visceral and gets you going. You're like, oh, okay, this is yeah. what we're doing. So I am very excited about the acolyte. I never answered your story about the what do I think is gonna happen. I think it's gonna be sure. Jedi covering it up, and I think it's gonna be seeing this is wishful thinking at this point i think okay. it may we may get the inner workings of how the sith like kind of rules too and and all that kind of works because if this girl is trying to go bad if she's trying to break bad uh -huh. well guess what it can only be two right yeah and so hey we can't have you here yeah. so maybe she gets murked i i don't know i don't know but i'm excited yeah, I, I'm I feel wondering. like we're in uncharted territory here oh yeah, no, I, so I made the comment, you know, I still feel like it's close, mm -hmm. but I do I, I do appreciate the the fact that I have no clue what's going on. No clue what's exactly. going on. Exactly. I mean, we are um, close, yeah, but like I don't know none of these people and sure. I, I don't know what's going on at the at the Jedi Council at this point. Yeah. Um Yoda, do you think he shows up? 1000%. I think so too. I think he has to. I think you need Yoda to uh, mm -hmm. at least make an appearance now that obviously then makes me think okay yoda can't know anything about this sith dude then why not because that would that would totally change the the fundamental foundational principles that we as a fan base believe <laughs> of grand master let's just, yoda. Let's just say yoda was there when the downfall happened my guy he uh, was part yeah of that. Okay, but like if he's part of the group that's and then hiding he this myth, he didn't help. He just said, "I'm out of here," <laughs> and then he just died. Don't like, do this to me, man. We can't I'm, have I'm, we can't have Yoda being part of the group that hides this. <laughs> I would totally look at that dude completely different. <laughs> I, yeah, I I don't know. I don't. So know. you want I, you want Yoda to I, be? It's in not on that it. I want him to. Okay, but logically in my brain it goes: if the Jedi know about it. Yoda is the guy. He's going to know about it. I don't know if he's head of the Jedi Council now or whatever. You know, I don't sure. know if he's at his status yet. Yeah. But may, and maybe that's how they get around it. Maybe he's maybe he's like next know, man. Grand up. Moth Yoda. And he's not <laughs> you know, or he's Moth Yoda and he's not Grand Moth Yoda. I don't know how the Jedi rankings go, but maybe that's how they get. They kind of plot around it. He like, still has he a master in, is what you're saying. Well, no, no, not that, <laughs> but like, I don't know. Like what I mean is like, so the people on the, the president's cabinet, maybe don't know all the secrets. The president knows okay. is what I'm trying to yeah, get. Yeah. To. Yeah. 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 I think that's gotta be the way they do it. I think Yoda can't know if Yoda knows I'm telling you, man, people are going to riot. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they play that. I don't know. I but think. Am I wrong in my logic though, in thinking that like, okay, if they are covering up, then Yoda would probably know about it, potentially. But it's like you just said, you know, maybe the president doesn't know yeah, about. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, yeah. and and I think you and I actually, we spoiler alert, we texted after sure. we watched the trailer, yeah. and we were kind of saying similar things, but we didn't go into this much detail. No, but we both said like, do you think they all die there? And that's how they don't know. Now yeah. we know the the one guy survives the the um, Je the Jedi Master guy, right? Don't we know he survives? Do that? do we know that? I don't know if we know that. Oh, so you think that that happens like after him fighting the lady? After him fighting the lady, like later or like in the trailer when he's fighting the youngling turned bad. Oh, chick, I mean, you think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. After yeah. that is what you're saying. Yes, 
I think so. Okay, okay. Well, then maybe they all die, and then there ain't no no one knows about it because but, they're all dead. But there is a season two. Oh, they've there's already a season two. They've already confirmed that it's in development. So there's they no know, way all the guys. They know <laughs> there's no way all these Jedi get <laughs> get murked, man. <laughs> they know, or maybe oh, it's like in National Treasure when he's going around and like, hey, someone's gonna steal the freaking <laughs> declaration, and everyone's like, Pfft. and then they steal it. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh man, I didn't know. I did not. National Treasure being brought up was not on my bingo card for this. That's podcast. a perfect. That's a perfect <laughs> comparison, though. You can't. It kind of is. It it, it is. <laughs> I don't well, know. I, I don't, I'm, I'm just, super excited. I'm I'm nervous for some reason with the act light, though. I guess only because I'm I'm just nervous it's going to somehow contradict canon principles that I have in my brain ever since I was a little kid. Here we man. go. Here we go. Typical Star Wars fan. Yeah, oh, this is what I want, and I'm mad because it didn't do that. Hey, Come I on. try to I try to not be as crazy That's as true. others. That's true. You're you're for more forgiving. I might just that. be more crazy in private rather than in a public <laughs> setting. I'll just be just, honest. Yeah, just yelling when the camera's <laughs> off. I got you. No, yeah. I, I I don't know. Coming from the guy who obviously I don't watch everything you guys do, and, sure. and maybe the common listener does here, but I personally am super excited. Taylor said the trailer looks dope. If you know me, I always test it off my wife. Sure. And she is so. my litmus test. She said it looks cool. She's like, okay. oh, yeah, that looks cool. So if you get her saying that looks cool, yeah, that's a win. Okay. Um, she loved Ahsoka, agree. too. So that's kind of where we're at, if you're wondering okay. Okay. where we are in the spectrum of yeah. Star Wars. Well, things. June 4th, we get a two-episode drop, and I guess we'll uh, figure it out. But I will say, you know. Mando talk we be- is we better be reviewing that. Mando talk say. is coming back for the acolyte like weekly for hun- for for sure, hundred percent without a doubt. So don't think that I'm going to be ghosting, especially with it dropping in the summer months. That is clutch, clutch, because life is so much less busy <laughs> during the summer for me. So I greatly appreciate that Star Wars. It's almost like they decided to release this so Mando Talk could cover it because you know that's what it was. The they, they messaged you, Kathleen messaged you, didn't she? So are I you thought. putting this out there in in the ether that you want to cover I the want Acolyte in. Weekly? Oh, yeah. Weekly, yeah. my guy. Yeah, yeah. All Come right. on. All I've right. been waiting on this for years. I'm gonna go Let's ahead and go. write that down. Zach write said it down. Book he me. is covering the acolyte with me each week. If you week. make it on the Google Calendar, you're legit. That's how I track my whole life. <laughs> All right, go ahead and add it. All right, I'm add adding it. it. I think it's. Uh, let's see. Okay, June 4th is what I'm assuming it's a Tuesday night. Yeah, it is. So hopefully they're the doing. Air, hopefully they're doing a um, similar to how they did it with Ahsoka. Where we could watch it like that Tuesday night at like oh yeah like a prime eight? time spot right, right. like seven or eight or whatever they, they are not doing that with the Bad Batch they mm. they they cut that out it's back to the two a.m. bullshnoggies yeah, that I absolutely no, hate <laughs> come on now you but I get give me prime I get time. doing it with the animation but if they go back to that with Acolyte I'm gonna be pretty mad let me be <sighs> be honest I'm gonna be pretty mad I, I, yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know see why they wouldn't do yeah. the prime time spot because it was so cool it was so nice having a sit down with my wife and watch a tv show it was right so nice. and seeing everybody go crazy all at once mm. online and yeah it's, immediately it's, text it's great for marketing or... it, it builds numbers it, it gets people excited i think gotta you got go to weekly. sounds like maybe we need to go live then if they go that route maybe we go. need to go live go let me live. know people let us know in the comments <laughs> does mando talk need to go live Every Tuesday night for the acolyte, we'll see. I Apparently, see Zach's in. I mean, I don't don't count me in. <laughs> I gotta ask the boss on that one. Sure, no, I, I understand. I understand. All right, what's next? We got Star Wars Outlaws. Mm. Zach, I'm gonna pass this one to you because you're our video game guy. All I'll say is, as far as like Star Wars vibes of it, Star Wars vibes are all over that story trailer that I saw. But what do you think, Zach? All right, so I come in conflicted because Ubisoft is making it. Okay. And they have this tradition or or this kind of like skeleton on how they build games on their open world games. It's very much go climb to this thing, unlock this tower, you unlock the map, here's a 5 billion things on your map, and you can just go do all this stuff. It's not a broken, you know, it's not broken by any means. It works. 
I hope it's not that. I hope my dream for this is it's Jedi Fallen Order level design and, and kind of storytelling mixed with an open world like Elden Ring. Now, let's digress for a second. If you've never pl played Elden Ring, nope. it is an open world that they do zero hand-holding. And by zero, I mean literally when you're running through the world, there's nothing on your screen, no HUD or anything. It's just the map. Or, or it's just the what you see in front of you. And you have to like un uh, unlock and find the world and like explore. And yeah. it's one of my favorite games of all time because of that. So if you could give me that in a Star Wars, now I understand we're not going to be able to probably, you know, travel the whole planet and, and do sure. all this stuff. But I did see gameplay where you can, you know, go up in your ship and fight and then go to other planets. Mm -hmm. So that alone is sick. So walking that back into what do I think of the trailer? It didn't hook me. Ooh. Okay. Now, that's not a negative review. I think it's a good trailer. Mm -hmm. I it, I liked it. I was like, oh, okay, that looks interesting. You know, we've, we're kind of in the underworld and we've got the players there, the mob. I just, I, there was nothing in there that made me go, I have to play this game. Okay. Is so what I mean by that. So I, I have a feeling I know the answer to this question and then I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. do you think this trailer was geared towards Star Wars fans or gamers? Oh, good question. Um, Cause it sounds like, it, cause for me as a Star Wars fan, like I'm not thinking of all that stuff that you just kind of mentioned. Well, let's, well that's let's what I mean. <laughs> I think it would definitely be a Star Wars fan thing because you name, you know, you've got Jabba in there, you've got right. Han Solo in there, you've got the ch going into space and the guns and the right. uh, great dragon. So Everybody's talking about think, Kira going to be in there. Yes, yes, Kira. I think it's definitely more for that discussion. Okay. I am being just critical because as you well, know, you know it. You know the, the well, gaming Keller aspect. And Bird, of it. Like I love video games. It's like my Star Wars type level of love. Sure. And so, um, and I also love Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, and uh, Survivor. Like mm -hmm. I think they're incredible games. Mm -hmm. And so, if we can even get close to that feel with this character, that's fine. I just, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just. It wasn't a trailer that, like I said, made me go, I have to go buy this game. Sure. Now, is that a bad thing? No, I don't think it's a bad thing. It just, I walked away going, that looks cool. I'll yeah. wait on reviews and see what people think. That's where I landed. Yeah. Okay. So with it coming out, it says August 30th. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming we're going to get more footage, gameplay. Oh, 100%. Okay. We'll get, we'll get. 10 more trailers and gameplay okay. footage and they'll probably do deep dives of like, here's what a mission looks like. They'll do all that stuff. Yeah. So then I have a feeling the strategy is that this official story trailer is to get star Wars fans hooked mm -hmm. and maybe I'm the rest, you. the rest of the stuff that's coming is going to get the, the gaming community hooked. I'm with you. Cause that's where my money is going to be either spent or not at least sure. before the game comes out is what is the game look like? What's the mission look like? Mm -hmm. There's actually a gameplay video up right now if you want to go check that out. But I want like I would love to see more story stuff and then get one. Then we yeah. can kind of get more context and whatnot. Um, but overall, at this point, I think it's um what's the word I'm looking for? It's exciting. Yeah, That's not the word I was looking for, but <laughs> I'm happy to see more stories inside Star Wars in a video game, mm -hmm. but at this point, it just looks cool to me. Like, it looks fine. Like, sure. Ah, yeah, I might try, try that. Okay. Well, I think it looks... I like as far as the visuals of it, it looks beautiful in some shots. Yeah, it looks great. Mm -hmm. the, uh, especially the like dragon the cinematic and shots. And I thought, like, when Han Solo popped up there in the Carbonite, I was like, oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Sick. So that definitely got a reaction from me. Seeing mm -hmm. Jabba definitely got a reaction. Seeing yep. the girl that resembles Kira, but apparently isn't Kira, but then we get confirmation that we do get Kira in, in the game. <laughs> Yeah. A little confusing there, in my yeah. opinion. But yeah, well, they say Crimson Dawn. They show a girl, and then it's not Kira. It's like oh. right. But then we get an image from Bespin Bulletin that, that is Kira, Kira. Uh, and I, I think know. that came from like Game Informer or something. I think okay. I saw that tagline there on the bottom. So I don't know why they didn't lead with Kira in the trailer. Then 
I don't know. It's a weird. <laughs> that's a weird decision. Weird I don't decision. Know. I guess you could get Amelia Clark for like you know thirty seconds. So sure, we just got to get her in one scene. Sure. I don't know. Overall, I'm I'm pretty excited, but I'm assuming this is like next gen only. Uh, I think it is. Okay, we'll see. That. I, I don't there's know. A, there's I mean, a problem like, there for me. Keep talking. That's a problem uh, there for me. But but uh, other than that, as far as the story goes, it's very Star Warsy. And kind of like you had mentioned, as far as the, nope. the Elder. Uh... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I Elden was going to say, that, yes, Elden Ring. There you go. Mm-hmm. As far as it being completely open and not really holding your hand. Mm-hmm. I have a hard time envisioning that any Star Wars game ever does that because they're so worried about this is canon. This is canon. This is canon. Like this event happens. This impacts the Skywalker somehow like so so what what I mean by that you you'll know if you've played like an Assassin's Creed where there's okay. like 57 little bubbles everywhere that you can go to to like there's a secondary mission here and there's a thing to find here and go grab this thing and like all that stuff I for one am not a fan of that now okay. some people are and like I said it's not a broken kind of mechanic I just think Star Wars lends itself to exploration and what's in this alley, what's in this corner. Like when you're watching a Star Wars show, a good one, Mando's walking down the street. You're like, oh, look at that vendor over there. What uh-huh. is that dude doing? Like, why? Oh, that guy, he looks like a um, a scoundrel, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Imagine yeah. walking okay. around that world and making decisions. And like, that is so enticing to me. So if that is the case, that'd be sick. Also, I said it's Ubisoft. It's yeah. also massive entertainment. Mm. Um, I don't know who Massive Entertainment is. Maybe they're Me just either. like another piece of um, of Ubisoft. Let's see. sure. But but to answer your question, it is only next gen. Yes, confirmed. Okay, okay. So if I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna have to come over to your house. <laughs> oh, okay. So they made the Division Two, which is a really beloved game, and they made the new Avatar game, which I heard good things about. So hey, mm. maybe that's a good thing. They they are Ubisoft. Good signs. Good signs. But, yeah, I'm I I would b- almost bet money that I'm going to buy it, but Oh, I know I you're going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be sold more if I'm sure. going to like actually pre-order it. Yeah, I think that's coming. I still wish that I could create my character if I'm being honest. Yeah. Cuz I've always wished I've always wanted to in an open world Star Wars game. I've always wanted to be a, like even before the Mandalorian show came along, I've always wanted to create myself to be a Mandalorian bounty hunter We're gonna going throughout the galaxy. I can I can feel this so in the air. Didn't they it. recently have a Mandalorian game confirmed and then now it's not yep. confirmed anymore? Yep, bounty hunter okay. game. Okay. So I'm just going to have to keep waiting. Yeah, but what I mean by like Maybe I'll have a next gen console by then. <laughs> yeah yeah you will you will but by the time i get that they'll have something else to wear yeah it'll be last gen next gen (laughs) you know (laughs) i think that um with lucasfilm and like lucasfilm games being a thing again Mm -hmm. that we're gonna get something like that yeah we have to the way games are going now it's all create a character and you spend six hours creating your dude why would you not have that in star wars it seems like a no-brainer to me agreed well there you go star wars outlaws official story trailer yeah what do you what do you guys think listeners out there are you excited about it i want to hear like the vibes of outlaws i haven't really sure. seen or heard anything online so i haven't either and i'm in which the is space not a good sign <laughs> i haven't heard anybody talk about it really <laughs> that's what i mean is by it didn't really hook me because it just like i haven't seen the any thing. chatter about it it's only got i say only <laughs> it's got 695k reviews not reviews it's got 695k the trailer has views. 69 thousand views that's it that's it is that bad for 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 video games well yeah With star wars tagged onto it yeah yeah, no. yeah well okay. i don't know I, maybe i'm crazy let me just compare real quick i mean you know, you're going to have the big boys like Rockstar and whatnot, but all right, keep, keep, uh, keep talking. I'm gonna well, and I was also going to say too, you know, I scrolled down. Usually it's a bad sign if they turn comments off, but those are still around. <laughs> so that's good. I'm just scrolling here, seeing what they've got. Remember, get used to not owning your games is the top comment. I don't know what that means. Surprise. No one is bringing up the $70 to $129 price tag. Oh, Remember, I, I didn't no want to pre orders. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so basically they're offering oh, no. like extra stuff for oh, like a hundred and twenty dollars that you can only get with a pre-order. It's so just scummy. Okay, but... the these comments are bad, man. 
This is yeah. not the Star Wars game you're looking for. Yeah, I, dude, I told um, you. I just the vibes. Are here we weird. go. So, here we go. Here's a comment. Something tells me that I could pirate this game and still feel robbed. What are we doing? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't open these comments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, dang. Um, <laughs> let me look at like Jedi Survivor. Let me see what its uh, view it's, count is. Yeah. 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 Let me look. So from a year ago, it has 7.6 million views. Oh, wow. Okay. That's the power of a lightsaber and a great character. That's a year ago, and 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 that was this Survivor, a fair comparison? Right? I was gonna say it, this yeah. isn't a fair comparison. Let's compare uh, Fallen Order. Yeah, I looked at that. It's four years ago. It has like eight million or something, or oh, eighteen million. Again, it's got eighteen like, million. Oh my gosh! Again, power right. of a lightsaber. But four power years of the ago, and there's time and all that good stuff. But just for comparison, I wanted to get an idea of like Man, where these were the, sitting. Okay, this is this is an. Brutal. I'm not trying to bring this down either, by the way. I'm brutal. just spitting facts here. Um, Wait, so you have to pay to play early? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other thing they've come up with where it's like, uh, hey, pre-order this game and you get it two days early. Yeah. Oh, know. my gosh. I don't know. All right, I, I, need game to, I, I need never to done stop. that with I need to stop. Starfield. And that was, I don't think it was. A bust? It. Oof. It yeah, wasn't I, need, a bust. I need to stop reading. This is depressing me. Anyway, <laughs> I was feeling positive about that. And then why? Why yeah, did I open don't let the internet? Yeah, I was going to say, don't let the internet bring you down. Come on. You, let that just... be a lesson, kids and yeah. adults and Ugnots and Jawas. Don't look at the comments. The Twitter fingers, Unless guy. you're on Mando Talk's YouTube channel, then look at the comments and engage. <laughs> with the engage comments. it. Because um, <laughs> we have a positive community. I'll just throw yeah. that out there. <laughs> yeah. And what I love about the Mando Talk community is like, you can tell everybody loves Star Wars. Yeah, so for sure. It's just for sure. Super nice. Um, I'm trying to look but, at like. Okay, I'll, this is going to take me down another another uh, vent session. I love Star Wars, but that doesn't mean I can't be critical of it. People, I get sometimes I get people push back like, if you really love Star Wars, you're going to love every single piece of Star Wars. I mean, come on, come on. If I'm a okay, okay, Kentucky basketball. If you watch sports. We just lost our coach to Arkansas. So I've been very critical of what we're doing as a basketball program. But that doesn't mean I don't love the basketball program. I'm still bleeding blue like crazy. It's the same concept with Star Wars. So I say all that to say any take is welcome here on Mando Talk. It's not As long as you're not a complete idiot and disrespectful with your take. Anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I agree. I agree. Let what it out. About? We got hey, one Rob. more. We got one more topic. Well, let me just t hit you with some review headlines. I just pulled okay. up real quick for uh, Outlaws, Star Wars Outlaws. Like, okay, what you got? Uh, the first <laughs> one I read: the new Star Wars Outlaws trailer looks shockingly bad. Okay, oh, who's this that's, from? That's not fun. Um, Forbes. Okay, so Ooh. if I go to PC Gamer, trusted reviews says Star Wars Outlaws story looks better than any Disney Star Wars movie. There you go. So that's a little positive action. Is it though? <laughs> positive in the darkness? I don't know. Okay. Um, that's a very negative connotated headline there. <laughs> uh, PC Gamer says it's out this August and wow, does it look more jam packed full of 80 aliens than any Star Wars game I can remember. And that's a that's good a thing. Positive. That's a positive. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, kind of across mixed. the board. And yeah. Mixed, but okay. That's fair. I, 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 I will buy it. I've I've actually you gone will. from I don't know if <laughs> I, I know will to <laughs> I will buy it. <laughs> you will. I will have to try it. Um, even yeah, if it's will. like super bad. But Ubisoft is great at making mediocre games, so I know it's going to at least be. <laughs> I know it's going to at least be okay. Sure. Okay. Well, Star Wars Outlaws. There you have it, folks. Let us well, know. Are you excited for that game? Are you going to play it, or are you going to wait to hear reviews, thoughts, opinions uh, before you drop the Seventy dollars to one hundred and twenty nine dollars, or something like that, in order to play it. Uh, two days is, early. Though. Are video games really going for that much now? One hundred and twenty nine dollars. And that, well, no, they like oh, throw my. things in there to get you. Like, hey, you can get this statue and this canteen if you spend four hundred dollars. Nah, that well, ain't people it. People can do it. I, you know, whatever sure. floats your boat there. But not me. Not this guy. All Seventy right. hurts me way too much already yeah and, i remember you know so, when i was a kid i feel like or when we were kids i feel like the games were like 40 45 
I remember when they were 20, my guy. I remember twenty dollar games like Man. in the bin. You know what I mean? Sure. You yeah. Buy them for twenty. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then it yeah, went yeah, to yeah. fifty, and then sixty, right. and sixty has been around for a while, and seventy just happened with these so, next gen consoles. Mm -hmm. So by the time I'm able to get a new console back to this, a game. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, hundred dollars a game oh, on you. Man. Well, this is tough. <laughs> I think it's also coming. I'm not trying to make this a video game podcast, but it's becoming a resurgence of cheap, uh, well, cheaper games that are mm -hmm. still high quality, like indie developers mm -hmm. that are maybe the game isn't 50 hours long. Maybe it's only 10, but yeah. it's awesome. And it's 30 yeah. bucks. Like um, there, yeah. there's so many games now that I've been playing here recently that are amazing games and they're like 40 bucks mm -hmm. and I've been having the time of my life with them. Um, mm. Dave, the diver is a great one. If you're looking for a game, go play Dave, the diver. It's like literally $20 and you'll get hours and hours of fun. Well, there you go. There you go. Video game wreck on me. There's your plug. <laughs> Dave, the diver. <laughs> yeah. It's a good All one. right. Last topic of discussion, and then we'll get out of here. Of course, this is Mando talk. So we got to bring up the Mandalorian baby. The Mandalorian and Grogu confirmed for a May of 2022. Sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on? <laughs> May 22nd of 2026 yeah. release date. There we go. There I got it go. out. Mandalorian and Grogu coming out in theaters <laughs> near you May 22nd of 2026. What is that? Two years away? Exactly two, almost. Two years out. Whew. But I feel like they're going to start filming this thing at the end of this year, hopefully, I would say. Give them plenty of time for post-production. Make sure mm -hmm. it looks nice and crisp and, and clean. What do you think of the release date? Do you think it... Because the only... Star Wars movie that has come out in the summer months during the Disney era was Solo, and we know that thing tanked. No, I love it. Give it to me. Okay. I need a summer block blockbuster from uh, Star Wars, and I love the date. I really do. Okay. Ever since I read it, I was like, I think let's do it. originally that was the Ray movie like mm -hmm. release window, but I think they definitely want to lead the theatrical comeback in. May Mando. with Mando for sure. I was trying to Google search when the Fantastic Four release date was because I'm concerned with them competing with Marvel. I just saw that, but surely there's got to be something big coming in 2026 with with Marvel. There always is. Uh, yeah, Wolverine or not Wolverine X Men? Nope. No. Too too soon. Avatar. I think they're going to save those for December. Yeah, there'll be a December release, I believe. That's just me speculating. I don't know. Have we had a chance to talk about the Mandalorian and Grogu together on the mm -hmm. podcast? I don't think we have. Mm -hmm. Does the idea excite you as far as having a movie about those two? Give it to me. I love it. Yeah, I agree. I love it. I've begged for the seeing them on the big screen. So, yes, yeah, give it to me. I think it's a guaranteed. I, I don't want to say it's a guaranteed billion dollars because I don't think those days of movie theaters getting guaranteed or movies. It's a guaranteed, guaranteed billion guaranteed. dollars. My right. Guy. You think so? It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It helps. That it's Star Wars' first entry into the theater since The Rise of Skywalker. And it definitely it's helps May. that it's The Mandalorian and Grogu. It's Mandalorian and Grogu. That's, that's the a, biggest thing. That's an thing. awful but, title, though. But also, <laughs> I hate that title. No way that's the title, right? No, I think it is. Every time that they talk about it, they have it in italics. As if it's the title, The Mandalorian and Grogu. There's even I like a, that. There's like a title like image where it's your typical, like it's got like V and then Mandalorian, but then off to the side, not even centered, it's I hate it. and Grogu. I hate that. But okay. <laughs> but, oh, I see that now. But Just people, it up. people will know. The Mandalorian and Grogu. Yeah. I see that. People will know who's going to, like, as far as the casual viewer, they see that and they're like, okay, I'm going. So, I mean, if for them, it's a good title, I guess. It'll get, mm. it'll put butts in seats, but. Mm. Yeah, it would be a little more one. creative. <laughs> <laughs> Guy with helmet with little green dude. <laughs> pretty okay. much. Pretty much. Um, so but let's yeah. see. If Avengers happens, Avengers 5, that's going to be May 1st, 2026. 
but Ooh. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, we'll that see. Hasn't been pushed back. I'd be surprised. We'll see. Um, well, going the, back to your question of Mandalorian yeah. and Grogu, we haven't talked about it. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I'm super excited about it. I want to see them on the big screen. I want them to pull out all the stops. I want all the cameos in this thing, baby. Give me everybody. I want Boba Fett. I want Bo Katan. I want, I want all the players in the movie. Man, I want Thrawn. I want it all, baby. Huh. I was on it. completely different, opposite thought of that. Really. I'm thinking that the because they still got that Filoni movie. I think that's your cameo fest. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. The Heir to the Empire movie that Filoni's directing. Oh, oh, that's okay. your Mandoverse. Yeah, yeah. That's your Mandoverse finale. Oh, see, I completely forgot. I you forgot I, that in my existed. brain. Well, in my brain, I merged them. I guess. Okay, I, I see. Thought, I see. I thought Favreau yeah, was no, no, doing no. like the Filoni movie. No, no, no. This is a Mandalorian and Grogu directed mm-hmm. by John Favreau. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So well, I was okay. thinking this was going to be a very focused on them two and their I, story, think, almost back to we, a season one of Mandalorian vibe. Exactly where I was going with that. Do you okay. think we get like origins of their, of Grogu's people? in that movie you no. think that's what the basis of it is i think they're already going to be like man like din and and grogu are oh, already just... going to be established and, and they're just on a mission like they're just given a mission to go and do and it turns into something cinematic like you don't that's think so boring. It's, it's just more of the same for you that's there so the same <laughs> and boring I well okay not let's it. not forget where things left off at the end of season three yeah. they're now working for the new republic Mm-hmm. What if they somehow working for the New Republic? They come across this uh, whole idea of Ahsoka and Sabine are on Peridia. They're off. We got to somehow get them back. Boom. Now I'm scared. I don't know what the story is. Oh going no! <laughs> <laughs> I've talked you on. I've talked you onto the ledge. One hundred percent. Okay, I still lean back on. I'm excited to see them on the big screen, and I tr- trust Favreau and yeah. Filoni. I do. I really do. I, I don't know what good a Mando and Grogu only story is going to do me here. Um, <laughs> but cool. Well, if it's season one vibes, I'm all in, baby. Give me that. Okay. I want season one vibes. Well, see, baby. and there's com- there's confusion now that this movie is basically what they were going to tell in season four. Like that oh, season yeah. four, season four is no longer a thing potentially, or maybe season four still is. We don't really know. There's also speculation that maybe Filoni's heir to the empire or Mandoverse movie can't all fit into one. So they're going to create a trilogy out of this, like the Mandalorian Grogu, then Filoni's movie. And then a Filoni's part two of the movie to where you get your star Wars trilogy action that we always love as fans. 2045 when that comes <laughs> out, <laughs> dude, we're going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be taking my grandkids. To go we're going to be Filoni crawling. Movie. We're going to be using, <laughs> A little walker, <laughs> like, hey, come, come on, over man. here. We're watching hey, Filoni's movie. Back when you were born, I watched this on Disney Plus. You remember that? Back when I was your age, yeah. I created a podcast to talk about this Mandalorian guy. <laughs> Same one. We finally get in the climax. I'm finally learning how it ends, and I'm gonna yeah, be right. <laughs> exactly. No, I, I, oh, I don't know. I, I'm excited about it. I, I want to see him on the screen. Like I said, I, I. If you would have asked me right before Mandalorian season one, I probably would give you the same exact feeling I have now where like yeah. it looks cool. Yes, I love the characters more now, but in terms of the story, I don't know. I pray to the heavens above that it's not a go to this person, go do this task. Oh, yeah. oh crap. In a yeah. movie format. Please don't be that. Please be a. It's got to be something a, new. You please be a actual story that unravels and not sure. just. Go do these things. I don't think it'll be that. I I trust Favreau. Yeah. It's almost like Favreau's back in the position of doing Iron Man, but even better because it's Din Djarin, baby. Yeah, he's so cool. What a good character. He is. He is is rapidly up my list of favorites. You know, Plus it's Pedro, so. the more I think about it, because I didn't think of the Favreau of it all, this is a guaranteed billion dollars. 
Yeah, dude, I told you. Like, it's Favro, yes. But also, Has every- it's Mando and Grogu. They sell Disney Plus. Like, they yeah, are they Disney do. Plus. They sell Star Wars at the moment, for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, easily. easily. That's Those are two other characters. Even if you've never seen the Mandalorian, you know who they are. Yeah, if I show you Grogu, you're <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Yeah. Boom. Uh, Boom. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Mandalorian and Grogu coming two summers I love away. the date. I want to go back yeah. to that. Love yeah, the date. I think 2026 date. is actually not too far away. I think mm-hmm. we're that's right on the cusp of it being too far away. Sure. Um, but I think with all this action we're getting, Tales of the Empire, Acolyte, into whatever else they have next. Skeleton crew, does that skeleton still exist? crew? Jeez. It exists. It exists. Is it good? No one knows. <laughs> no but... one knows. It's not a good sign. <laughs> it's not trending up. Let's say the that. Fact that it's just sweeping under the rug. But um, Oof. what else is there? What other TV shows, at least? Oh, we Andor, got Andor, Andor season, season two. two. Let's ah- go. Ahsoka season two has been confirmed. Yeah, I don't think we'll get that before Mando Grogu. I do think we get that before Filoni's movie, though. Oh, c- confirmed. Yeah. I, well, not confirmed, but yes, I agree. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I agree with that. Well, I, I don't know. Hmm. A lot to chew on there. There's so much Star Wars. I'm so eager for Star Wars to get back in the theater, though. I'm loving this TV stuff. Don't get me wrong. But Star Wars needs to be back in theater for sure. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Best movie experience of my life was Force Awakens opening night. It was pretty good. It was, was pretty was daggum fantastic. I think that there's been such a gap now that the Mandalorian and Grogu is going to have that kind of feel to it again, which is good, which is a positive. Mm-hmm. But man, it's, it's taken cool. us a while to get there. I think it's going to be both. I think it's going to be people who are excited for Star Wars in the theater, and I think it's going to be people excited to see Mando and Grogu on the big screen. You're mm-hmm. going to get a combo of that, and it's going to be a billion dollars. I agree with you. I'm all in on it. I think it will Billy. be a billion. Let's do it. All right. Well, there you go. There's Mando talk. We're back, baby. It's been a minute, but hey, we just went, what, an hour and 11? Probably an hour and 15 by the time we wrap up. A lot so. of good content, though. I mean, there's a lot a, of good to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot of good Star Wars content out there. So be sure you subscribe, click the bell, the notifications, the follows, all of those buttons to be in the loop again the next episode that you can expect from mando talk is going to be the bad batch season three reviewed with dj foster with me as well as followed by shortly after a tales of the empire reviewed with dj as well so that's coming up pretty soon because both the bad batch and tales of the empire come out like the first week weekend of may which is very very closely coming so that's great because again summer vibes i love it um with that said though once those two episodes come out we're transitioning into an acolyte we're we're hit we're hitting our acolyte companion podcast era because we are definitely going to be back to doing week to week so really the point of this podcast episode was to get back in the mix but also talk about all these great star wars things that we've got coming down the pipeline that we will be covering here zach thank you so much for hanging out with me geeking out with me it was a lot of fun i, I like the vibes i loved the vibes of this episode it was I, just very just free vibing. flowing we had a lot of fun talking star wars with my with my bro ham here it's <laughs> it's a it's as good as it gets i don't know what else you want me to say i love it so thanks Word. for having me absolutely all right well let's get out of here hope you have a great week weekend month next time i hear from you hope you enjoy the season three finale of the Bad Batch, and I hope you're ready to talk about the Bad Batch season three because that's coming next. And until then, as always, we have spoken.